They are so freaking cute. Every keychain is ten dollars. I'll have to figure out how to fix the resolution on some of these. So I'm gonna probably finish this up tomorrow morning. Cause I'm gonna go back to those $10. And all the orders going out today are packed up. I did find a wedding dress. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Off Season Chronicles where I document running my small business and my life outside of market season. So today is Friday, March 1st. February was so quick. I don't even know where February went, but I'm not that mad about it. So yeah, it's March now and it's 9.55 in the morning. I don't have a ton planned today. I'm actually going to take Duncan on a walk with my friend and her dog around two today and then I'm probably gonna hang out with her for a little bit. So it's a shorter work day, but I wanted to start this vlog today just because I feel like vlogging. I have to pack up one order. It's for a punch needle kit that goes out today. And then I have some other orders that I packed up already that have to go out. So that won't take very long and we'll do that in just a second. Also, I wanted to share, I got this amazing package in the mail yesterday. This is from Delta Sewing and Vinyl. This is her business card and I'll link her website in the description. But she made Sean and I some keychains and I'm just like, they're just so good. So here's the first keychain. It's obviously for Sean. And then she also made me one. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this yet, but I'm very excited, it's so cute. And then she also made two with my logo and I cannot get over these. They are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. So she made two of these for me. So I've already put one on my money bag for the markets. And I'll just use that as a zipper. And it's just so, so cute. Like I'm in love with these. So thank you again if you're watching and you guys should definitely check her out. So yeah, so cute. I wanted to share that. But yeah, I wanna pack up that order. And then I also just remembered I have some orders on Shopify that I need to pack up. I think I can pack some of them. I think some of them are keychains. And then I might go live on TikTok. That sounds like a good plan. I went live yesterday. And that was the first time going live and directing people to my Shopify website, which, I forgot to mention it in the last video, but the website is live. It's ourcherrycorner.com. And I went live yesterday and I had so many people on the website, but I didn't get that many orders and I wasn't sure why. And then Sean and I realized the shipping was like way higher than it should have been. So I went through, I refunded everyone who ordered a portion of their shipping to make it so that they paid the appropriate amount. And then we fixed the shipping. So shipping's all good now. So I wanna go live again today. Um, but we're still waiting on all the new designs to come in. So I was, I've been nervous to go live because I just feel like people are gonna start getting impatient. Cause I said like a week or two, the designs would arrive and there's been a delay on the manufacturer side. So it's being pushed back, but let's just get to packing some orders. And she got a Black Lab keychain, a Bull Mastiff keychain, and a Great Dane sticker. So here's her order. Out today. But I'll be getting gray and tan ones. And she got King's Charles Cavalier Golden Retriever and English Springer Spaniel keychains. So she got three keychains. I don't know how strict they are, but I hear they're strict, so. Every keychain is $10, and it's for a Maltese and a Cavalier keychain. Okay. In the second batch of keychains, a Black Poodle keychain. Party York key. Akita, I don't have. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so this is for Deborah. We have the Rottweiler keychain. So it's a golden retriever, the chihuahua, and the cavalier. And that gave me like a foundation of followers on TikTok. I had dog stickers, so.
If you could go back. And I do have bone noodles. This is also listed as a labradoodle. And I have a lighter brown bone noodle. So what do you were drinking? Lost and blurry vision. Cause we both know the vodka did and put you in a limit. Okay, it's one o'clock right now, and as you saw, I went live for a little bit, and I think we got about 17 orders from that live, so that's really good. And then we went to the post office and dropped off the packages. I haven't packed up any of the orders from the live because I didn't have time, and I kind of want to do it on TikTok Live. So I think I'll do that either later today or tomorrow. But I'm going to be leaving in like 15 minutes to go on the walk with my friend. Okay, today is Monday. I last spoke to you on Friday, so I didn't vlog over the weekend, but I did get some stuff done. So I finished the orders that need to go out today, and I have one extra for my own inventory. So I just need to like actually finish this. Obviously, I just did the punch needle part. So I'm going to finish that this morning, and then I have a lot of orders I need to pack up and get out today. So that's what the morning looks like. We'll see how long that takes me. Also, when Sean gets back for lunch, he's going to stretch some fabric onto some embroidery hoops for punch needle kits I want to get out today. So I'll work on the kits a little bit later, but let's start by finishing these coasters and packing some orders. Heard it from a friend, she was in our bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Knocked me over ten feet forward Never knew I could sleep alone good I've never been better You're probably out there somewhere missing me Wish I had an ounce of sympathy Yeah, I tell my friends that I wish you well But the truth is, honey, that I hope it hurts like hell Tried putting up a fight, bet you feel stupid. Try to make a scene, didn't change a thing. Damn it, you blew it. And you're probably out there somewhere missing me. Wish I had an ounce of sympathy. Yeah, I tell my friends that I wish you well, but the truth is, honey, that I hope it hurts like hell. Okay, a little bit of an update. It's 11.38 right now and I just printed out some golden retriever stickers because I wanted to fill the whole page. I had a custom sticker so I didn't want to just do the custom sticker. Usually I'll do that and then I'll save the page and use it later, but I just figured I would start printing out some of my new breeds. These are my updated golden retriever designs, so this is updated and then I also have the English cream and the copper one, but my goal is in the near future to take a couple of days and just print all my new breed designs, photograph them and list them on my website at least and probably also on Etsy because that is long overdue. I really need to do that. I sell all of my breed stickers at pop-ups, but I haven't updated them online. I don't think like literally since I first put them up there. So there's only like 10 breeds up there <laughs> for cats and dogs, but yeah, I'm also really behind on printing the new breeds because I haven't had pop-ups and I've been doing a lot of new designs 
since doing pop-ups, so I will definitely be printing out new breeds at some point, hopefully soon. And I've also organized the orders that I need to pack up today, and I'm gonna do that on TikTok Live. I also need to still prep the kits I wanna send out. There's only three kits I'm gonna send out today, so I'll do that after, but right now I'm gonna go live and pack up these orders. In your love, like a hotel lobby, took all of my pictures before the city forgot me. I, I. Love comes so easy, so I drive. See your house from the highway way up high Things are so different now I suppose I should get used to letting go Of all I know about your soul So I push on through going through the motions Nowhere close to your Feel so far, but couldn't be standing closer. Cause I could write an entire record about you, baby. And I'd hate the way the words would come so easy. So much time has gone by. It's 12.50 right now, and I'm about to pack up some kits, but I just gotta show you this little gremlin. She finds all of my threaders, like no matter where they are, I don't know if you can even see that, but they're like the perfect cat toy, so I can't really blame her. But I've changed the location of where I keep them like multiple times, and she always finds them. So I don't know whether I should feel proud or annoyed, but kind of feeling annoyed. I love her in here, but also she gets into everything, so. <laughs> And then we have Duncan, trying to escape, but doesn't know how to fit through the little area. Go ahead. So yeah, we're gonna just let her be out here. <laughs> It's 1.10 right now and all the orders going out today are packed up. So I'm gonna go have some lunch and also feed Duncan. And then I think I'm gonna go on a walk with him. And when we get back, my plan, unless I think of something else that 
needs to take priority but my plan is to work on the breed stickers because I don't think there's anything else I really need to get done right now so yeah gonna do breed stickers print those out at least start on them because I'm probably not gonna get them all done today but yeah that's the plan okay I just had lunch and it's 1 45 right now and I'm actually gonna start stickers now because Sean texted me and asked if I want to go on a walk with Duncan and him later so we're gonna do that after we go to the post office later around like four o'clock so let's make some stickers okay so it is 2 42 right now i just spent the last like 30 minutes or so putting all of the designs onto canva not canva cricut um and it said like four or five of the designs are low res and will not print very well which i don't know if i've ever had that notification i feel like i haven't but I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> and I will be the judge of if it's a poor print quality. The first one that said wasn't gonna print well was the gray tabby so that's only on page two so if when I print that it doesn't look good I'll have to figure out how to fix the resolution on some of these but fingers crossed that they print to my liking and yeah we have 20 pages here to print so let's get printing and maybe cutting we'll see how much we can get done today. Okay, this is what the tabbies look like, which I think is perfect, so that's good. much later it's eight o'clock right now and i'm almost done with the stickers this is what we have and then i have two or three more pages to do so i'm gonna probably finish this up tomorrow morning because we're having a late dinner so i'm gonna go eat and then probably watch selling sunset and go to bed soon so yeah i wanted to update you also this is what i was able to tab so lots of stickers here as well and then some of these are tabbed but i ran out of the tabs and more are coming tomorrow so i'm gonna wait and tab them all tomorrow because i have no choice so yeah i will see you tomorrow good morning today is tuesday it's 10 8 in the morning and i'm about to finish up these stickers so i'm gonna do this right now and then i'm gonna run to trader joe's because i have to pick up some ingredients for dinner tonight and then i might stop by my parents as well to get the tabs for these stickers Otherwise, I'll wait to do that a different day and just photograph some of these without the tabs. I mean, it's better to photograph them without the tabs anyways, but when I ship them, they will have the tabs. So it's technically a more accurate representation of the product. But yeah, the tab is just to help peel the sticker backing off the sticker. Um, and since some of them are going to have the tabs on them, maybe I'll put them on all of them for the photos. But I'll decide that later. Let's just finish these stickers for now.
next morning. Today is Wednesday and it's 12.15 right now. And I haven't vlogged since last night because I literally was just, sorry if you can hear Duncan barking. He's barking at some noise he hears. But I was literally just uploading the photos of my dog and cat stickers onto my website the rest of yesterday and this morning. So all of my dog and cat breeds, they are available as stickers, but they're only available on my website. So you have to go to OurCherryCorner.com to get those and I'll have that linked in the description. But yeah, Etsy, I haven't updated them on yet. I need to wait to do that because that just took me so long. And there might be a way to transfer the listings from Shopify to Etsy, but I don't feel like looking at that right now. So we're just gonna take a break. Hopefully soon I'll have them on Etsy, but OurCherryCorner.com is where you can get them for now. And right now, I think I'm gonna pack up a couple of orders and then I'm heading to my parents to drop Duncan off because Sean's going bowling tonight and I am going dress shopping, wedding dress shopping. For the first time, I'm going with my two best friends, my mom and my grandma. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna ask my friend to take some clips, video clips of the dresses so that I can show you guys and I will make sure Sean doesn't watch this. This is the first place I'm going to, so I'm keeping my expectations kind of low. I just wanna find like a style I like and a style that looks good on me. I'm not trying to find a dress right now, so yeah, I'm very excited. I'm gonna do my makeup in a little bit. We're leaving in like two hours. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna pack up a couple of orders and then head to my parents to drop Duncan off. And then after that, I will see you for some wedding dress shopping. I'm so excited. The appointment's not that long. It's 3.30 to five. So I feel like that's just gonna fly by, but I'm hoping I can try on like a lot of styles in that time. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Summer days were fun when you're with me. We had it all. You were my world. Tell me where have you gone? I've been missing the feeling. Good morning. Today's Thursday and I left you off right before I was going wedding dress shopping. We were not allowed to take any video or photos of any of the dresses I was trying on per contracts with like the designers in the boutique. So that kind of ruined my plan there. Um, but I did find a wedding dress and I purchased it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, that's like so in my character. I'm like, let's just to find one at the first place I visit. I love the dress so, so much, but I'm not gonna include a photo because I wanna wait until the wedding day and when I show all my wedding, like maybe I'll show my wedding video or parts of it at some point. So you will see the dress eventually. In 2025, you'll see the dress. Um, unless I do, maybe I'll show you like fittings or something, we will see. But it's not fit perfectly, obviously. So they're gonna order it, get it fitted, and do I show the dress? Do you wanna see the dress? 2025 is a long wait. Let me show you the dress. <laughs> Sean already knows not to watch this video. Oh, I love it. Once I put my veil on and I put these sleeves on, I started crying and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is real, this is crazy. Um, the veil really made it come together. And so yeah, I wanna do sleeves like with tulle. So probably from like wrist to, to right here. And we tried on like some mock ones, like not what I'm actually gonna have, but something similar. And I love it. I love the look of it. And I'll let the veil be in the back because with the veil on the front and with those tool sleeves, it's like too much going on. But I love it with the veil in the back. Also, they're removable sleeves. So if I end up not wanting them on the wedding day, I can take them off. I'm going to take them off for the ceremony probably anyways. Not the ceremony, the reception. So yeah, it's very pretty. You can't really tell from the photo, but the train is like stunning as well. It's also going to be whiter than it is in the photo. Um... And then the cup size will be smaller and it'll just be better fitted, fitted to my body. So yeah, that's crazy. First thing that we have spent any money on was the wedding dress. So I paid like about half of the cost of it and I will pay the other half later when it comes in. And yeah, it's a little more than I was wanting to spend, but not too much more. So that's good. But I'm also gonna have to pay for alterations. Um, I got the veil. I got a veil off Etsy because their veil was $300, the veil in the photo. So I got a $40 veil off of Etsy, which I honestly like even more. I'll insert a photo of the veil right here. 
Uh, but yeah, love the veil and I'm excited to get it and I hope it matches well. I think I got the correct color. I got it in light ivory and the color of the dress is going to be ivory. So more white. Yeah, it was a good day yesterday. Um, but today is Thursday. I teach today. So it's kind of a wonky day on Thursdays figuring out my schedule. I need to plan my classes this morning and then I want to do a Pilates class this morning as well. I want to work on a custom sticker for someone uh, for an order. I think that's all I'm going to work on maybe for orders. I might pack some orders as well but those are going to go out tomorrow and I also want to get tabs on all of these stickers. It's two o'clock right now and I just finished tabbing and putting all my stickers onto the display for my pop-ups. And I took a lot of stickers off that didn't sell that well to make room for the new breeds. So I have this first panel of dog breeds and then I have another almost full panel. And then I have some popular stickers that aren't dogs or cats. And then I have the cats, which I need to fill this a little bit more. This is kind of sad compared to the dogs. But I'm so excited for this next market season, having so many more dogs, especially when the keychains come in as well. Um, but I'm gonna go have some lunch and I will see you after. It's a little while later, it's 3.04 right now, and I'm leaving for work in like an hour and a half-ish. And I'm gonna end the vlog here because all I'm gonna do for the rest of today is respond to some emails and look over what I planned for my classes for tonight. But I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more wedding planning and behind the scenes running a business and I will see you in my next video. Even if I'm